In this lesson, we're going to move the functions from the inventory service class that are currently extension methods and put them in the inventory class and make them regular functions. This will decouple the inventory class's dependency on the inventory service, since the inventory class will be in models and the inventory service would potentially move to the services project. So we'll start by opening up the solution and take all the functions from the inventory service class and we're just going to cut and paste them out of inventory service into the inventory class. Then we need to change them from extension methods to regular functions. So in the extension method, if you notice the first parameter is always this and it's a static function and we're working off of the passed in parameter, in this case inventory for all these. Uh, since we're working inside the class now, we remove the static, we remove the this inventory inventory parameter since we're inside the class, then every place that use the inventory parameter in the function, uh, for example here in remove items, we were creating a working inventory from the inventory parameter. Now we just use the items property directly instead of referencing inventory.items. Since we were calling these as extension methods to the rest of the classes, it looked like these functions already existed on the inventory object, so we don't need to change any other code. All we need to do is delete the inventory service class from the engine services folder, and then go into the living entity class. And in the using directives, we used to have one for engine.services, and we can remove that now. As always, the final step is to test the program. I won't show it since you know how to play the game, but always make sure that the program works before you commit your changes. And I think the next lesson is going to be the final one before we can move everything out of the engine project into its their new project homes. So hopefully that will be it for this round of refactoring and we can get on to new features. If you have any questions, as always, you can leave a comment on the video or on the support page. Otherwise, I will see you later.